This is Colin Dixon with Endscreen Media, and I'm at NAB 2018 talking with Vili, Vile Partanen, who is with uh, DNA, a Finnish pay television operator. Uh, Vile, tell us a little bit about DNA. Uh, Finland, 5 million inhabitants, uh, heavy on pay TV, 300,000 subscribers, biggest one. Uh, in addition to pay TV, we have broadcasted uh, television, terrestrial, cable, and then uh, broadband, mobile, and cable. Very good. Now, you've actually already deployed Android TV, um, Android TV set-top boxes uh, out there with your uh, with your audience. Can you talk a little bit about why you did that um, and, and how that's being received in your market? So we went live uh, last summer, uh, in the mid-summer. Uh, for us, it was a, a few critical points why we went to Android TV. The first one was that, that on the day that we actually launched, the application amount for the customers was was huge. We were able to get Netflix, YouTube, all the national broadcasting companies, their applications, and, and also the Scandinavian. So, so a huge application variety. The second part was that, that, that to be honest, we don't believe limiting, limiting customers is a competitive advantage. So, so we actually decided that, that let's emphasize customer satisfaction and customer satisfaction means that you give possibilities for the customer so that's the second one and the third one was that that with Amino we actually we had went out with with Android uh, and iOS and web applications so we just needed a new client and we actually realized that 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 Amino was able to provide us a new client with with a fairly low amount of resources with fairly quite speed and that that gained us actually really really speed and and quality application. And you mentioned that Amino was, was key in, in enabling your your particular delivery. Um, was it very difficult to integrate back-end services like uh, customer resource management, billing, stuff like that? Well, I, I actually no, because majority of those systems have been implemented uh, on the back-end side, meaning that, that we had already CRM, OSS, BSS systems, everything integrated to the actual clients. So more or less for us, it was just about in taking in a new client, nothing nothing more. Now, one of the th unique things about your, your particular deployment is you're really leading with with Android TV in your advertising campaign. Yeah. Why, did you why did you choose to do that? Well, uh, we're the first ones to actually go Android TV and, and we realized that, that customers are looking other choices than just pay TV solutions or linear pay TV solutions. And, and when we actually went to customer service and, and what, what are the things that customers see, see benefit, they, they see benefit of, of choosing their applications, using the content everywhere they go. And we saw Android TV supporting that message actually quite a bit. So it, from that perspective, it was an easy decision, easy decision for us. So v key to your, de your, your pay television deployment was you really wanted to not just sell a traditional pay television service. It was absolutely key to, to help the, your customers bring together everything that they were already watching at the television on that set-top box, right? Yeah. That, that's right. And then, then comes the question of like, like what's the... Aren't we scared, to be honest? Uh, why are we giving Google? Why are we giving a, a way of the possibilities for the customer to use the other applications? And, and we see that, that our, our competitive advantage comes from bundling the content. So what we actually do is that, that, that we have these packages, 10 euros, 30 euros, 50 euros, mixed packages. And as a customer, you can swap your content package on, on a monthly basis. So for us, it's, it's about mixing the content, bundling the content, not just saying to the customer that, that, that it's a specific, specific device, specific content, and you're not able to, to choose it. Now we're actually, uh, we're saying the DNA TV is a, a kind of TV that you are. That's our like slogan, and you can, you can choose. That's the idea. A kind of TV that you are. Yeah. I love yeah. that. I love yeah. that. Uh, so my last question for you is, so how's it going? You've, you've been in market now. Um, uh, how's it going? Uh, what about monetarily? Are you seeing are you seeing an uptick in revenue? Is it helping out on that side of things? Yeah, so so it's it's uh, it's coming extremely well. We are selling more than we anticipated. Uh, we actually got some stock outs due to the fact that we were selling selling so so hugely. Uh, we are seeing customers are not just taking the set box actually. They are taking in extra speed. So we're getting more revenue from the from the broadband, and and it's the ARPU is increasing. So we love it. We love it. So it sounds like a very much uh, looking good. You're, yeah. you're looking looking forward to uh, doing much better. Well, I hope you will come back and tell us how things are going in a in a few months, and uh, we can we can celebrate hopefully uh, even better even better performance. Well, thank you for the invitation. I look forward to the next one. Thank you very much, Vile.
This has been Colin Dixon with Endscreen Media.